In the 2021 season on picks like, uh, like the Aatrox, he's been an absolute machine in the team fights later on. It definitely gives SK the ability to scrap with Fnatic early. And while we expect a explosive, bloody early game, anytime Fnatic sets foot on the stage, both of these teams are equipped with the compositions that they have put together to go toe to toe in team fights. Really but Volibear as a champion wants to be active early. It's clear he's fast, but it's not super fast. But Blue might get the flash here. Self made. Flash. Charm comes in. We'll reset the oh. cooldown though. This can charge again. Is he going to commit for more? One auto. Blue going to make it out. He loses his flash. Which... on the Drake all this time. Whippo had the TP ready in case they tried to contest it, but he is going to use it back towards the top side. Uh, so Fnatic are going to get themselves a Drake. They're going to base and they're going to get back on this map and try and start punishing more towards the bot side, which is what you need top to do. Side. Gen X has no flash. Herald's up. So if they got this kill and Hillisang was able to move from bot side, they could look for it. Whippo flashes in. Body slam. The knockback. It's flawless. Good mechanics coming in. Gen X doesn't look like he can survive that one. Dunked down the heart to finish the job. First blood for Fnatic. Oh. He had so much free time because he was ahead and he's going to net that into a Herald. So two nuke objectives for the side of Fnatic. Pick up a little bit of the wave. Blue has TP. Niski has TP coming up as well soon. So. Next thing to look at, how do Fnatic want to use this Herald? And I think you have to go through bot lane, but Hillisang could get caught here. This is kind of dangerous. Gonna get caught out, Hillisang immediately, the chain CC, no chance to even proc his own Aftershock, just gets absolutely one shot by the side of SK. And you hear about it from so many teams when you play against Fnatic, target Hillisang, the man's always gonna be going in. If you can burn a flash, you can kill him. If you can start those kills going down early, Z. that's your way in. This has low mana. The ulti's still available from Blue though. Blue can try to turn this one. Whoa! keep pushing forward, wants to walk into the movement speed stair, but will not. Picking up the ball. Ooh, really good place. Movement. It's Selfmade who's getting the objective. Selfmade who's getting a little bit of extra farm. And we expected bot lane for the Herald, but it might be a top lane play. That's the ulti coming in from Whippo. The body slam to fall. Gen X knows now that he is in trouble. Selfmade pushing in. He can disable the tower with the ultimate. He might not even need to. He's backing off. The TPs are coming in. But Gen X is so low, he can't even help. That TP's looking Whoa. pretty bad. Blue now running for the hills, trying to dash out. Selfmade safety, but the tower now disabled. Blue getting taken down. Oh no, that is an execution error you cannot afford to make. But Treat's now trying to turn it, trying to knock it back in, trying to pass tower aggro over. It's Whippo who's been locked up. Tinks is here! Hero play. Tinks on the way in, trying to get one back, but no! Fnatic just refusing to go down. They've gotten one. Whippo now gonna be in trouble. Treat's going to be in trouble. They've got another oh. one back. Whippo just barely making it out for now. They should finish him off. There's no way he escapes in that one, but a two for two in the end. Look, it's a Fnatic game. There's a Volo Bear here. He's just so damn good. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hillisang so far, and someone we're gonna continue to watch, but right now the top lane tower more important as the Herald will crash. Yeah, Treat's showing up to that top lane play just in time. Again, saving SK in this early game, but the Herald from South made, which did come out from earlier on, did pick up that neutral objective down. But I think that Fnatic's win condition is the bot side. So playing towards the top side is all good and dandy. Getting Whippo ahead is nice, but losing Drakes and losing bot plates and losing creeps and bots from being zoned away is not what you want if you're Fnatic. So I want to see Whippo push out, self come towards the bot side and start contest treats. Has no flash. Selfmade was looking for it. Up on the queue is big. Might be in trouble here. Tanks can try to save him, but he's going to have to burn a lot to get in any deeper. Tanks now running into the backside. He's going to knock up upset. Pushing forward. Jezu uses the ultimate. Ready to pull the feathers back, but still the dive in from Selfmade. T is going to get rooted up. Selfmade now in trouble. Gen X on the way in. And that's the turn they were waiting for. It's monstrous for SK. Blue is here. They find two kills. They are in control of the bottom lane. It's a huge turn there for SK. They fight. Items. That's when Tristana is the champion for Fnatic. And SK have so many tools to dive into the back line. Yeah, most definitely. I think this Tristana needs to be the one jumping forward so he can actually start being active in these fights. And Fnatic moved towards mid to get some vision. And I thought they were going to lose their bot tower there. But like I said, I think Herald is the next objective. Drake's in 1 minute 40. If you can secure the Herald earlier on, then you can use the Herald in mid to get access to the Drake first, which means you basically have a guaranteed Drake as well. So we'll see if Fnatic want to pick up the Herald. Gen X is pushing in top and Treats is moving up and down this river. So the bot lane prior for this whole game is just the biggest key for both teams. In these periods of time, you have to imagine is where pressure starts to feel like it's stacking. SK, their first big stage game in the playoffs in a very long time. Gen X, the only player on this lineup with stage experience. For Fnatic, they've oh been boy. here before. They're not afraid. Gen X going to be leaping out to safety, is forced to use the ultimate, a small win for Fnatic, but won't amount to too much more. That oh, said, look at mid lane. Tinks is coming in. On the prize. Clean flash out from Niski. The sidestep, he's leaping forward, but the fear comes in, but the charm misses on the fear oh. target. The snap oh. is disaster outplayed by Niski. Self made with the punish. Whoa. Oh. Flash it for the ultimate. Insult to Illusane from behind. Now the follow-up is here. Fnatic absolutely devastating SK. The TP's coming in as well. Niski's coming back to the fight. On the way back in. Blue now gonna be in trouble. He's managed to lock up one. He's trying to sidestep. Good damage comes in. Hillisang with the flash forward. The lock up. Blue now gonna be in trouble. The hook goes a little bit wide. Oh, Blue just barely Niski! Ah! Outplayed right back. Are you kidding me? Blow for blow. These mid laners. Blue now going in. But Pupo says not today. Turns it right back. And this is the series we wanted to see. What the hell is going on? Treats is punching him back underneath the tower. But Upset is here inside Let's go. his jungle. He sets him down. Oh. Takes him out. Fnatic get the kill. Oh, Genex is here now. Back in the fight. Whippo now needs to run. Whippo gonna be in trouble. 
trouble. Whip, we're gonna get taken down. Stride Breaker in upset now has to retreat. This is an absolute banger. How long is this fight gonna go? The 15 seconds on TP from blue. We're waiting. Breath held for a moment. Tink's running in. Will they continue the fight? Will they back off? It is blood in the eyes of both lines. Seven they seconds. They don't know when to stop. And I like it. Gen X now leaping in. Strybreaker cooldown reset. Upset taken down. Oh my god. The dunk back down. Self made another name on the list. SK. They have turned disaster into a winning fight. They just keep going. Fnatic wants to punch. They punch back. The dragons in one minute 30, but the fight's been going on for one minute 30 seconds. Dragons up. Looks like SK are gonna hit onto this mid tower. And like you said, the First initial start of the play was horrific, but SK turned it around. It's another oh, dive in mid. You were seeing it again. Deja vu. TP burned. Jezu low. Whip on the way in. Ultimate is up and available for the Gragas, but there's no flash body slam. It's going to be predictable. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map, Ari's pushing. Yeah, the absurdity of it is blue. TP to top lane while his team is around this Drake. Fnatic, Whippo still looks like he wants to contest. Niski's going to be here, but no ultimate on that Orianna. They're just trying to buy it's as much full. time as they can for Fnatic to get here. Getting lower. No shockwave available. A bit of extra movement speed. They are going to be able to grab the Drake. Whippo still threatening. Oh, my. Umbral Chains pulling him back. SK getting pushed away, but they get the objective. They but get this game will not slow down. Now no one has summoner spells. Fnatic are looking for a dive of their own. Whippo now pushing in. Gen X can get locked up. Strybreaker, Gen X still alive for now, but they will be able to take him down and a clean shutdown for Fnatic. Yeah, that's critical. Getting that Almost money picked on. there. Now sitting with five kills. And this man in the top lane for SK, never the type of guy to crush you in lane. But when it comes to the team fights, that's where he shows up. His Aatrox has been a thing of beauty all split long. And in a mad game like this, that's exactly where a champion was saying, if we're going to get another could be a fight, Gen X. on Gen X. He's already here. Whippo does not have it. So SK Why? want this fight. Thanks. Pokes. Tanks zoom, 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 zoom. But there's no follow up yet. Blue trying to leap into the safety, but a flash out from Miski. A turn back. That's going to be too locked up in the shockwave. So far, so good for SK as they managed to take down Hillisang. They're now trying to pull back, but Tinks is traded. Gen X here in the backside. Whippo's Upset on the way. Expected. Whippo, ha can he get there in time? A good input buffer on the Dark and Blade. Stop. Stop. This, this Baron TP from Gen X coming in too. Shockwave not available. Blue has no way to dash in. Tinks with no ultimate, with no ghost either. He's gonna have to zoom into this pit. This, is, this one's it's gone. Getting lower. Where's the miracle steal at? The hex flash over the wall. Jack, Gen X. They're going in. They're dunking oh. down. Can they finish the Baron? They get it just barely. But now SK wants to take the fight. It's blew up to the side. Keep your eyes on that charm. Gen X doing good damage. But the follow-up's not quite. Oh, oh, Niski! That's a hero play. Blue now moving forward. Blue getting taken down. It's the double kill for Whippo. Fnatic have taken the Baron. They've taken the fight. They've turned the game back in their favor. Niski, the clutch player. Fnatic we're looking for. Self-made goals golden for a bit of BM. Blue's gonna run for the hills, but my god, that's it. Fnatic have taken the play. Niski just completely destroyed SK in the river right there. When he left the EU LCS, he was the third best mid in the league behind perks, behind caps, and he comes back and he puts on a show in his first game in playoffs. Absolutely fantastic fights on the side of Niski. They're going to get the Baron, they're going to win. SK them. backing away. When we said bot lane, SK said top lane. When we say bot lane, Fnatic says mid. Niski showing up in a big way. Remember, we weren't sure how to feel about oh, this guy. Pressure points. Pressuring top, pressuring mid. Uh, and Niski, I'm keeping my eyes on Niski in these fights. If he can hit another shockwave oh, like yeah. that, that's going to be the end for SK. Absolutely. SK have to figure out some sort of answer into they that. Some kind of pick. They know the shockwave's down. The team fight should be in their favor in, in a sense because Niski doesn't have the shockwave, but it will come back up soon. So SK have to make a decision no, fast. They They've gotten a little bit of vision. They need to make sure they get back to mid and catch this wave. Otherwise, Fnatic can just run it down mid. But SK are on the flank. He's on the flank. That is one fast pony, but Tinks is not going to go in quite yet. Now it's a major cooldown been used. They're going to miss the initial CC. Treats goes in. He manages to find two. Niski and Upset untouched on the backside, but it's Upset still throwing down damage. The rest of the team now escaping, going golden. A stopwatch. Zanya's going to keep Fnatic healthy for now, but there's Whippo. There's the knockback. Jezu goes up, comes down, and is knocked Ooh. out. Fnatic on the hunt. Upset gets the reset. He can jump back in if he wants to. The rest of the team pushing in, and Fnatic absolutely smashing that exchange. Yeah, self made dead, though. What can Fnatic get for this? The Baron is up, but they don't have Smite. Tinks is alive. It is a three. Yeah, only Hillisang would sit here on 300 HP. Now Tinks has no way to get into the pit and they're just going to wait. Who's going to step too close? Who's going to face check the brush? Shockwave! That's going to be two. Big damage. No way they can contest now. Doesn't result in kills, but it's going to stop anyone from getting into that pit. Gen X debating, but he is going to back away. Oh, he's on a ward. He's on a ward. Fnatic just going to take away this objective nice and clean. 31 minutes into the game. Fnatic almost 10k in the lead at sole point. But SK have a lot of engage. So you can see Whippo just playing defensive, pushing in the waves, whereas the main pressure point is on this top side. Looks like Fnatic are going to pick up this inhibitor. The bot wave's actually pushing in, so SK need to deal with the bot wave before they get back to mid. And look, there's no flash on treats. There's no ghost on Continue teams. to play two lanes. Four players in mid, Whippo treats. down bot side. There's a ward there, though. Looks what looks can he like do? 
Fnatic on the retreat. Tink sees his opportunity. He knows he has to go in, but he's debating. He's hesitating. He doesn't know where to go. They're going to pull away. self getting picked off on the side. Those massive, but they can't finish the oh, job. Oh, Bobo's in their base. Flipo. This is a big play. Infernal Chains are there. He's going to get pulled back. He has to wait. He has to bide his time. Hillisang not going to go over the wall. Whippo getting caught out. Whippo getting taken down. SK more than happy to grab him there. And Whippo overstaying as welcome. A decent shockwave to disengage. But Fnatic now have to retreat. This should have been their sole point. This should have been more of the base falling. But Fnatic now pulling away. Upset throwing down the damage. So it's Gen X who has overstayed. The rest of the Fnatic now on the collapse. Traits now going back in. They're trying to turn. They're desperate to get anything. Tinks what can Jezu do? Down. Everybody go oh, no! And the fight goes in favor of Fnatic. Blue on the retreat. Oh, oh, no. oh, through the tower. Double for Fnatic, the ace, and they are now poised to end the game. Somebody censor it. Don't let the SK fans see that play because even after losing Whippo, Fnatic absolutely took them apart. SK could not reach the Fnatic backline, and Fnatic are going to take them down in game one. Yeah, SK overreaching. They had to find something. Whippo made a mistake. They had to capitalize on it, but Fnatic, they find the turn. Niski with the flash forwards with the Everfrost managed to pick up the backline of SK, and Fnatic take game one. Fnatic, early game, pretty controlled, self-made, very active on the map, but one or two explosive plays in the mid game work out in their favor. Now, admittedly, not everything going to plan. SK were able to find that massive mid lane fight that eventually turned for them, but a very scrappy series as expected. And while Fnatic